Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of Bloons Super Monkey 2. So in this video guys, I'm gonna talk about badges and what are the best ways to collect uh, only badges uh, on the harder levels, especially on boss levels. Uh, so badges are these things that you can find beneath each level, right here. And uh, there is a badge for every single weapon category. And as the description says, you're going to be able to gain the badge when you can complete the stage using only that kind of weapon. So there is a mixed badge, a mixed weapons badge, and then there is the singular badge. So on uh, normal levels, it's very easy to collect these badges because you just need to, to, to get the weapons. You just need to pop enough balloons to reach bronze rank. And then that's it. Uh, that's going to be enough for you to gain the uh, the badge only it becomes a lot harder on boss levels because you you not only need to reach bronze but also you need to defeat the boss otherwise the stage is not you know it's not considered completed so uh, when you're equipping only one weapon type some bosses can be pretty tough to to destroy so this video is going to be especially made for for this uh, for how to get the badges on boss levels all right so first of all the first tip is uh, using dr monkey now dr monkey can be unlocked once you defeat the boss in level 100 so the first time that you defeat the boss you're gonna unlock dr monkey dr monkey has access to every single weapon at once so for example ice and storm that uh, you need to get the specific super monkey to to get these two uh, powers uh, you ha can have them both at the same time on Dr. Monkey, so that's the first thing. Second thing and most important thing is that he has a cloak that is gonna prevent him from being disabled by anything. Uh, so Bloptonite uh, that's gonna slow Super Monkeys down or also the debuffs from the bosses. So uh, Dr. Monkey is your choice because uh, in many levels, for example boss in level 100, uh, the boss in level 67, uh, I think it is. I don't remember correctly. So the bo the boss with a lot of blob tonight, uh, 68 and uh, 60. Also, these bosses are gonna use a lot of blob tonight. So the fact that you're gonna be able to immune to it, uh, you can still move freely, and therefore it's gonna be easier to defeat them and to collect uh, the badge. Second tip is uh, uh, weapons. So you can get these badges even if you have rank one weapons so it's not important like having everything max especially for easier levels like uh, you don't need epics you don't need power-ups you don't need uh, weapons max you just need enough weapons to get bronze remember if you can get at least bronze that's enough to get the badge but of course for the late levels for boss fights you're gonna definitely need uh, the weapons max so that's that's gonna help you out then one thing is remember that if you're using any epics, uh, you need to use the epics belonging to that weapon category. So if you're trying to get the bomb only badge, uh, you're gonna have to use the epics that are from bombs. So uh, the the ace here and then the moab in the in the core. Right. So remember, if even one epic belongs to another weapon category, you're not gonna get the the badge. In this case, the bomb only badge. So uh, make sure that all the weapons uh, are the same on the same category. All right. And uh, yeah, so as I said before, having epics and equipping also epics is going to be more damage and it's going to help you out, especially on some harder boss levels. Then another tip is research. Having also research maxed is going to help you out because when you're using only one kind of weapon, you are more vulnerable to the weakness of that weapon. For example, in terms of, in the case of bombs, the fact that you can't pop black and zebras. So if you have this research right here, that's gonna actually allow bombs to pop black and zebras, uh, you can uh, counter that weakness, and therefore you can pop, at the end of the day, you can pop a lot more of balloons. So, um, yeah, this is something that regards every single weapon. So for energy, the weakness is glass balloons, for dart and boomerangs is lead balloons, for magic is ceramics, for ice is white and zebras, and for storm is glass and leads. 
So having this max definitely is going to help you to counter the weakness of every single weapon. Then of course if you have also the other research max it's going to be more damage. So more damage from the same weapon or bigger explosions or more peers or here is uh, larger projectiles that definitely helps so that's uh, another important thing and then last thing uh, being able to do more damage to mobs and bosses also very important uh, especially on boss levels so that's uh, that's it and then shield suppression uh, could be could be something especially if the shielded balloons are gonna be of the same category of the weakness of that particular weapon those balloons can be pretty annoying but uh, shield suppression i wouldn't say that it's uh, like uh, super important for boss levels uh, more uh, big balloon sabotage is a lot more important so uh yeah then uh final tip is power-ups um now depending on the boss and depending especially on the weapons so the badge that you wanna get you gonna like you, the best thing is equipping different combos of power-ups so if you're going with uh, uh, weapons where you're gonna do a lot of damage with the basic attacks all right you wanna equip turbo boost and never miss targeting so for darts ranks bombs ice you wanna always go with turbo boost and never miss targeting because you're gonna do a lot more damage with the basic attacks of that particular weapon. Instead, for magic, energy, and storm, you wanna get instead the um, uh, uh, other cooldowns, I think it's called, yeah, other cooldowns power up. Because this one instead is gonna make your epics recharge faster and therefore you can use them more often. Right, so that's very, very important because uh, some weapons, basic attacks are gonna be terrible. For example, the energy, these uh, uh, whips are gonna be very, very bad. Also for magic, the magic weapons are gonna be bad. And also for storm, they're, they're pretty bad. So uh, the epics of these weapons, for example, thunder wings or uh, the doom gauntlets or the lightning troll instead do a lot more damage than the basic weapon. So it's a lot better to instead use these uh, epics to do more damage and to defeat the boss rather than going with the basic attacks. So uh, yeah, just remember, just remember that. And uh, now that being said, as an example, I'm gonna show you with Dr. Monkey uh, how to get bomb only badge on the, uh, the boss uh, in level 82. It's a pretty tough boss. I have everything maxed as you can see. This is gonna still require quite a lot of time but eventually I'm gonna be able to succeed. So turbo boost, never miss targeting because this is bombs, so you do more damage with your basic attacks rather than with the epics. And, uh, and now this boss in particular requires a pretty, um, a pretty specific strategy because the magnets are gonna defend the boss from a lot of your weapons. So if you wanna maximize the damage that you do, you wanna place the duck monkey on top of the boss like above it so not under the boss but above it so as the boss comes out i'm gonna show you what i mean i'm gonna place the boss the super monkey right there all right so on top of the boss like as close as you can towards the bottom uh and yeah just keep it there use the epics as soon as the boss comes out use the epics and yeah just keep the super monkey right there because that's the best way to do damage to the boss consistently so the magnets are going to absorb some of the damage, but you're going to still be able to damage the boss and therefore at the end of the day, you're going to be able to destroy it. Uh, if you try to do this same level, but you keep the super monkey beneath the boss, uh, you're, gonna, you're not going to be able to defeat it. So uh, I, know, I know it because I've tried it and uh, it just doesn't work. So uh, yeah, using the epics again, just keeping the super monkey right there. So closest to the center of the boss, but keeping the super monkey above it so right there and yeah just keep it there and eventually you're gonna damage the boss just use the epics whenever they're ready to do some extra damage and the boss should pop anytime soon now and uh, oops and that's it so that's the boss popped and uh, right now I'm not gonna uh, complete the level because I wanna 
um, I don't want to waste and never miss targeting power up for a badge that I have already. So that's why I exit the game and I'm reopening it. But uh, yeah, that was the strategy for the boss in level 82. Now, what happens is that many times, even like with darts, ranks, uh, eyes, you may want to use the same strategy. So you may want to place the super monkey not under the boss, but on top of it. So in that way, the magnets are not going to absorb ma most of your damage. And so you're going to be able to defeat the boss eventually. Uh, and yeah, that was just an example, right, on this boss. Personally, I think that the boss, like level 82, uh, for some weapons, the, level, the boss in level 75 also can be a little annoying. But uh, definitely the hardest bosses are like level 82, 94, and 100. Uh, and as you can see, the last two badges that I still need to collect are bomb only on level 94, so on this boss, and also on this boss. So if you guys have any strategies or any suggestions about how I may be able to get the, the badge here, uh, you're welcome to write them in the comments. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and see ya. Bye-bye.